As you guys can see, this is all the work I've been doing all by myself. And here are the, the battery interconnected BMS all the way here. You can see I have two pins here. If you look at the uh, plug, let me show you. There you go, there's a little pin right there. I think that's the one that shuts the BMS as well. So, guys, um, you will see here, I already took this one. There's a bus bar right here that connects um, to the other positive to come to the disconnect. And this one here, I think I can't able to, I have to cut that wire if I want to. So I can separate the wires. And uh, these are the connectors for the BMSs to, from the uh, connectors to the BMSs, you can see all the way I took the module off. That was on the side right there. And uh, it's now here. This is how it looks like. This is where everything plugs in. The main control, BMS panel for the Nissan Leaf okay um, that's what it looks like those are the numbers there for people who are curious about it but I haven't seen any more detail about it and I'm trying to take this guy out trying to remember how I got this thing off I disconnect this part which I have here okay an all necessary part and if you can see the battery is already tilt i'm ready to lift this one and set it all the way back there by the two uh, rack right there and i'm gonna do the same thing again for this one here I'm gonna take this off and um i'm gonna go about it Clean it. Here is the plug that comes to the front right here. Okay, trying to disassemble everything properly. And this is the bar. It looks like a, you know, when you have on a truck to haul your truck. It's a nice bar. You know, this was sitting right in the center right here all the way across was sitting right here all the way across right there so the way I'm gonna do these batteries I just wanna uh, disable them and I'm not gonna take them off the pack I'm deciding to maybe I can flip this guy here this side and set it right here if possible I'm trying to see how it works set it right here so they can be like a sandwich so this can be a one old flat pack so it's six I know, I know it's not gonna be easy yeah it's gonna work four and two here two there and two there if I can able to set it and sandwich it and put a threaded bolt to hold it together so far so good this is how I've gone and this is all the mess not too much stuff to waste and um, I got all the other stuff here on the shelf and do my thing just clean up everything tools that cover maybe I don't know I'm gonna throw that one and this one is bolted on the on the on the pallet is bolted nice um, setup and then I'm gonna throw the pallet taking all necessary things I need from the battery. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I just lift that thing out. I didn't show you that part because um, I didn't do it on the camera. It's getting empty and empty and empty till no more batteries or nothing valuable anymore in that case. And that means I ripped all my money out of that thing. I got all my money every part is necessary and I have it right here it already sits right there so 
this is what it is and um, this is the front part of it I have one of these trays as well that holds this entire thing so don't ever throw these ones because you can use them you know uh, just a back plate at one point I break this one in the middle for me to construct the uh, other battery bank I set up for Grimeister Dave so even these ones when they send them to you you buy them from other vendors out there on the internet they cut this with a axle or whatever they cut them that's how they sell them so instead of giving you four of these so he cut this one in the middle then it becomes two so you can have one from this side and the other one on the bottom as well to compress your batteries so don't throw them away those are the things I never threw away and this one's gonna stay like this now um, I, I regret it doing that before I throw the other the rest of them and I'm not gonna make that mistake anymore trust me guys I learned and uh, and this is what I'm doing I don't want to break this one at all took my time this time so these are all the boss bars that goes the long bars remember I used them for my uh, Chrysler Pacifica so these are the ones to do the interconnect so this is how it looks like I'm gonna keep them you remember I have these ones as well so I'm gonna keep this all so guys don't make that mistake and throw them you regret it and now this one costs you I check it on the internet one time I was looking for covers like this it cost like 130 something to 150 I saw it on the internet on eBay I was shocked so I'm not throwing anything anymore bye for now like and subscribe So let me show you. Took it out and all the way here. Look them sitting here. The power of JW Solar USA. <laughs> all by myself. I've been doing this all day. Look at that. So now guys, look what is left. Started getting empty and empty. What left now? What is left? Just this big hunk, and it's already everything is already taken out. The bolt, the exception of these ones left here. This, these are the only one left, and this pack is ready to go. Should move as well on the side, and. Uh, when you have the tools, you can able to do anything. So I set up these guys here. This is number 10, 10 millimeter. And uh, you can see it. Number 10. And most of the ones that works with this is number 13. Okay. I hope you can see that. 13 sockets, and I'm using 13 is the one taking these ones both on the, on the bottom. So, guys, taking them now out. See? And, sorry. And this one out. Well, guys, it's almost 12 minutes video, and uh, 
this guy is all done i can just lift it up and ready to go so i move all these parts and i'm done talking about it now today it's gonna be all mine now look at that it's really hard to grip but it's gonna be off well thanks for watching guys all the bolts and nuts are out and everything you can see the other side here is ready to move on right off this beautiful thing Nissan has spent years on technology how to build something of this and to house the entire batteries right there into this frame and even this gasket I'm taking it out too <laughs> and this is the one I'm having trouble right now to take out because uh, there's supposed to be an opening I don't know if it's from the bottom but I cannot able to disconnect this terminal here and uh, and now we're done. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Subscribe and share.